Welcome back to the Alcohol Free RV. Today I'm going to talk about this couch and its short remaining life in our RV. Our RV? Our our RV? Whatever. Uh, I'm going to talk about this for, for a second. So this is the couch that came with our RV when we purchased it. It is a Thomas Paine reclining unit and it did have a small center section which we didn't like the separation between you know me and my wife and it also made it really difficult to uh, watch shows together as a family since there's three of us this couch is very narrow um, I mean it's a standard size but for three people it, it's it's a bit tight so we have decided that we want to replace this with something that's going to fit the three of us which is partially why we uh, replaced the dinette with the setup that we have. Now, this Thomas Paine couch is really good and it's going to go to a, to a good home. Uh, we have somebody that's gonna take this off of our hands. Uh, so thanks to Steve and Becky on that. But I do have this bolted down. So we're gonna have to unbolt and get this out of the way. We are taking delivery of a new Lambright uh, unit that should be here on Tuesday. And then we'll show what it's like getting that in. And uh, you know, we'll do a review on that. We were able Once to we have get the old sofa out and we are just now awaiting the carrier to stop by and drop off our new unit. So all of these wrapped up packages are parts of our new Lambright Harrison theater seating. It was packaged in a series of three boxes, which one box contained one of the base units and a back. Second box had the other pair of those and then the third box had this center console section. So we're gonna go ahead and start unwrapping these things and see if we can't get things together.
We had the opportunity last summer during our major trip to stop in Elkhart, Indiana at Brad and Hall Furniture. They are a retailer of RV furniture, including the Lambright line. They also have Flex Steel and some others, but we fell in love with the Harrison model that you see here. Now, we, we waited for a few months so that we can make sure to save up the money to purchase exactly what we wanted. The unit that we bought has all the upgrades. So it has the inside, inside handle uh, controls. It has the power headrests, power recline, has that fold down center console with the wireless charging and standard feature is this drawer which we store a blanket and then uh, we only need one remote control but we have that in there as well they've put some uh, remote control pockets in there now you don't really purchase anything from the brad and hall showroom um, we wanted you know this specific model this specific color this is coffee bean we chose to place our order when we were fully ready to uh, purchase the, the theater seating here. And we ordered on January 2nd, it was a Thursday. The lead time they told us was six to seven weeks. And that was till it would arrive at their showroom so that they could prep it for shipping. And then shipping across the country was then again, you know, another few days. So it is shipped by truck freight. And we ended up actually getting this, I think it was on February 25th. So that was a Tuesday, just a little bit shy of their promise dates. Um, so on, on the shorter end, right? So very happy with how it was delivered. Um, the freight company, brought it straight to the campground we were staying in and it was really icy the day that they showed up so I drove our pickup truck down to the front entrance so that they didn't have to try to navigate some of the hills that we have here and they offloaded it you know in the three boxes as I mentioned and you know then I drove it up took it out of the boxes and then each of the five pieces I brought in separate so really happy with the level of service i understand that the weather you know you can't always control that but really happy with it we've had it in place here for about two weeks i guess and just it's it's really comfortable it leans back you know basically lie flat as you saw you'll see in the clip here at the end and just really happy with it you know, it wasn't inexpensive, but it seems to be a really well-made piece of furniture. You can tell there's hardwood framing, you know, for the wooden pieces inside, and then steel framing for the floor. Everything fits together nicely, and like the connections for the wires and all that stuff is all really, uh, really put together well. Now, I did, let's see if we can get back here, some light on the subject. So I wrapped the cables. The lighting's not very good, but I wrapped the cables because our cat likes to chew on things. I wrapped them in like a expansion wrap, basically to give them another level of protection. But that's not necessary for everybody. And I didn't show that because it was kind of complicated. <laughs> um, but you know, it's got this nice wood insert, this charger, the wireless charger with three USB plugs. And yeah, just really happy with it so far. So that's a Lambright Harrison. And this one is the 68 inch wide model, which is, you know, a perfect fit for the space that we had. Now I did measure out the, the desk and everything so that it was properly sized so we could get this model when it was time and as always 
if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe over here or maybe I'll put it right here right there <clears throat> but anyways I'm Todd this is the alcohol free RV where we do mods repairs and upgrades along the way we'll see you next time